It's sports frenzy. <laughs> everybody to another exciting edition of the Monday but it's your Tuesday recap show this is season six episode 21 how's everybody doing out there I'm Jamie he's the coach, coach Cole here I don't know I feel like I've been screwed out of the title this week <laughs> hey, I didn't know I think, that was a kickoff show I think man's had something to do with this I'm feeling a little bit like uh, Roman Reigns right now. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. But you Not know, that I if, if I would have known that was a kickoff show, I would have made sure to emphasize that on the sheet somehow that, hey, this is a kickoff show, so you guys at home can watch this for free on YouTube and go through you know all the different channels you guys could watch it on. I didn't know it was a kickoff show. Well... Because that that big of a match should be a kickoff show match, you know. I mean, <laughs> that's sarcasm, folks. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. If I would have known that was a kickoff show, I would have let you guys know that. But that's all right. I already apologized for us on the Facebook page, so <laughs> we didn't know how they did. I don't know if that was a last minute decision or what, because there was nothing saying that leading up to that match. Well, and I, then suddenly, I'm watching the pre-show, and all of a sudden they say, oh, two out of three falls, and I'm like, what? <laughs> what did he just say? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not your fault. We can't prepare for everything. We try. We try here. But That's right. either way, if it was a good match, and you guys can still check it out, I'm sure, on YouTube or uh, the WWE Network for $9.99. <laughs> So, where you can watch the whole pre-show if you want, <laughs> or the whole show pre-show on the WWE Network, and, or the whole pay, or the whole pay-per-view because it was such a wonderful, amazing, truly, truly great pay-per-view. Pay-per-view. I mean, it kept me awake for whopping five minutes. So some of the choice matches were amazing. <laughs> yes, they were just absolutely amazing. <sighs> All right. We'll get more into the talks later. <laughs> well, we've been doing a lot of pre-recorded pre talking, so. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, anyway, let's go uh, recap the recap for you guys. We'll let Rose start us off. Uh, moving into some NLL lacrosse. Uh, the Toronto Rock. So this is the funny part. I was dissing on the Toronto Rock, saying that they're the Toronto uh, classical music, I believe. You called it, though. And you I called. did. I did. I said, watch, here I'm making fun of them. They're going to come away with their first victory. And what happens? They squeak past the Buffalo Bandits. The Toronto Rock get the win 14-12. to 12. Insane. Insane. You just never know what's going to go down in these sporting events. Well, congratulations to the Rock, Toronto Rock for their first victory. That's right. Maybe it's leading to better things to come. It's possible. <laughs> uh, next up, we have our second NLL, NLL lacrosse game for you, and that has the uh, Vancouver Stealth getting the victory over the Calgary Roughnecks, 14-13, to which is another squeaker in OT. OT. Moving into some girls. My computer will work here. Girls high school basketball. Other way, Tim. <laughs> no, I think I'm going this way, actually. No, you're going that. You were right the first time. Sure, because on camera, I think it, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think so. We'll, we'll check the footage later. <laughs> we'll see if I blocked you. Or if we just, like, looked absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> well, we look absolutely ridiculous anyway, but that's beside the point. <laughs> uh, girls High School basketball. The uh, Tecumseh girls get a big victory over Chelsea. 43-36. Continuing on with girls high school basketball, Ypsilanti Lincoln gets a win over Adrian, 56-27. to Now, um, i got to talk about the Adrian girls for a minute here because I found video footage of the girls playing basketball. So I kind of have a better picture of what's going on in Adrian's world now. Oh, yeah, the uh, the ISD has a uh, apparently has a sports um, network now, and they and they go and uh, record games. Um, apparently, with high school games, you can't do live high school games over TV, but you can like show them the next night. And uh, shout out to uh, Isaac's best friend Duran Pape, who is actually one of the cameramen for. Uh, He's actually one of the, I shouldn't call it cameraman, videographer guys for uh, for this network. And so I found an Adrian girls basketball game when it was a pretty current game. They were playing uh, the company. And so I, and we were watching some of the footage in our classroom while we were doing Sports Frenzy. And uh, these girls, they actually are playing. They look like they're trying to play hard, but they are they look young. And they look a little mismanaged, like they're not – really 100% comfortable with what they're doing yet. So, you know, we, we I, it's like you and I had talked about before. I make fun of them or if we wanted to, like, what the heck was going on? So looks like they really are trying. They're just a very young team and very inexperienced, and I'm not sure, not dissing on the coach, but I'm not sure the coach has a lot of experience with them either because it just, they were shooting, they were trying to do plays, and it just looked really, like, I'm going to say mainly inexperience in youth for that team. So huh. there you go. A little scouting report on the Adrian girls basketball team. <laughs> Ooh, well, good job, Duran, and good job with the uh, info there. I don't think we were necessarily making fun of them, but there was that one game where I think the Adrian girls only scored like four points, point. the, whole, like four points the whole game or something like that, and it's just like – Yeah, four points. Yeah. So, but uh, anyways, moving into some boys high school basketball. Manchester defeats Addison, forty-seven to forty-one. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ypsilanti Lincoln again gets another win over Adrian in the boys category this time, seventy-two to sixty-eight. Ida defeats Blissfield, forty-five to thirty-two. 
Our group out in Hillsdale will be happy. The Hillsdale Hornets get a big win over Dundee, 60-32. to uh, Hudson defeats Columbia Central, 59-54. to And Marinci continues their streak. They beat Summerfield, 55-41. to um, moving into some men's NCAA basketball, Maryland. Oh. Oh, actually, turn this way here. <laughs> Blocked it with the belt. <laughs> Had a black with the belt on that one. So then I have to go, like, you hit me with the belt. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you just hit him with the belt. <laughs> uh, Maryland squeaks past Michigan, 86 to 82. It's our first three-point three bonus game. It's our first three Three-point bonus game. Yeah. You get the shortened version on the uh, recap show. That works. <laughs> North Carolina gets a win over Miami, 96-71. to Women's NCAA basketball. Texas defeats West Virginia, 73-50. to <laughs> and my squeaker of a game was not a squeaker of a game as the uh, Oregon State uh, Beavers defeat UCLA 64-54. to Hence why I only have one title belt this week. <laughs> my favorite one. Come on, man, give me some. Side to side. <laughs> now we're bumping, dude. We're not doing this. Oh, we're bumping. Oh. Got a score. Do they do that in the score? <laughs> oh, they hug. They hug and get into a big huddle and they're uh, hugging. And... <laughs> yeah! He's he's gone! <laughs> you get a hockey stick for that. So when I was holding up a hockey stick, <laughs> I got one upstairs. I just gotta go get it. All right, the uh, Senators get a win over the Red Wings, three to two in a shootout. Red Wings get a point though. Points are important. They yes. are. Uh, the Lightning defeat the Pittsburgh Penguins. Four to two. I almost was going to say an overtime, but as it wasn't an overtime. <laughs> that was my layup. <laughs> Sky hook. I don't know. They probably think we've lost our minds. Maybe the next one I should just give you like a pass, you know, pass the ball to you like we're on the same team. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Uh, we've lost our mind. Uh, let's see where we at here. Oh, the uh, Washington Wizards get a win over the Detroit Pistons, 98 to 86. I don't get that. They lose to the Wizards, but then tonight they beat the Cavaliers. Well, the Cavaliers aren't that good. The Cavaliers know. suck. They're better than the Wizards, though, I think. I don't know. Eh. Anyways. Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Three points! 
Three point bonus game. It is. <laughs> uh, the uh, Golden State Warriors squeak by the uh, Golden or um, uh, L.A. Clippers, one fifteen to one twelve. This goes right down the category. Well, actually, this could have been perfect for a squeaker game because it was three points, basically. It is! Uh, what do we got? Hockey. More hockey. <laughs> hockey. Hockey. <laughs> I hope that didn't just censor cool. us there. <laughs> I'll have to see if that censors us. I doubt it. I hope not. Roll it. Uh, the Grand Rapid Griffins defeat the Charlotte Checkers 5-2. to two. And your final hockey game of the week takes the Toledo Walleye over Fort Wayne Comets. Four to three. Another squeaker game. It is. Uh, the return of NASCAR. And what a return it was, Rose. Daytona 500. They had to go to the video footage and review this one. Oh. I mean, we're talking as close of a race as you're ever going to see. Two, uh, Danny Hamlin and Martin Truzix Jr. were like neck and neck crossing that line. Hey, that's a good way to start off the NASCAR season. So uh, we also forgot to explain to you guys when we were so excited about our new sheets and everything, we're still following with the top three race car drivers. So to make it a little more, a uh, little easier for you guys to try and get a point because nine times out of ten, if one guy doesn't win, then you don't get a point. So the top three racers, if you picked any one of the top three racers, you get one point. It's not up to three points. It's just one point. One point. With that being said, we have Danny Hamlin coming in first. Martin Truzix Jr. coming in two, or second, two. <laughs> and your third was a guy we used to vote for a lot, <laughs> one of our former drivers, Mr. Kyle Busch. <laughs> yep. Well, and Martin Truex Jr., I just added him back to the sheet there. We did. We had totally taken him off. Yep. I think we had taken him off to add uh, Danica Patrick, I think. <laughs> Is that what you did? Wow. I think that's what I did. Oh, because at that point, we had never called, I don't think we had ever said Martin Truex Jr. won the race, so... But, nah, he's back on the sheets there. Uh, the exciting WWE uh, Fast Lanes pay-per-view. Uh, that was a good sound effect there. Uh, it was uh, the first matchup here. It was Dean Ambrose versus Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. This was oh, a brutal match. Yeah, it was a good match. Uh, Roman Reigns gets the victory. Uh, Brock Lesnar got put through two tables in this match and uh, beat uh, down pretty good by Dean Ambrose with a chair. Um, so now Roman Reigns, your main event at WrestleMania will be Roman, as of right now, subject to change, everybody. Um, Roman Reigns versus Triple H at uh, WrestleMania. Dean Ambrose versus Brock Lesnar in a uh, no-holds-bar match. And he has challenge tonight. Just just set up that match. Yes, they well it, they had uh, on WWE page they had uh, posted uh, a fan clip of Brock Lesnar attacking Dean Ambrose at Joe Louis Arena's parking lot, and uh, Dean got taken off in a uh, ambulance. But later on, he drove the ambulance back in and uh, um, challenged He's Brock Lesnar. You can pretty much know at this point if a wrestler leaves in an ambulance, so especially if they're like the crazy type like Dean Ambrose, he's coming back in the ambulance with his being the driver. <laughs> yeah, yep. Um, so, yeah, then uh, – but then they also so, announced tonight that, like I said, subject to change, 
Uh, it's going to be Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon, Vince's son, made his return back to wrestling tonight. And he has to face The Undertaker in a Hell in a Cell uh, to have some, like a stake in the company or something to that effect. But subject to change, everybody. That's all I have to say. I'm surprised he didn't bring back his WCW roster. <laughs> that, that might have been a good kind of a cool twist there. Bring back some of those guys. Um, in the uh, kickoff show for you guys that we didn't know was the kickoff show, Calistio comes away with a victory over Alberto Del Rio. Two out of three falls this match was. Yes, the first fall was a DQ. Uh, so the point went to Calistio. The next fall went to Alberto Del Rio. So tied up. Calistio came away with the victory, though. So which is why I have the title belt for the week. And your last match, which was kind of a obvious match, Kevin Owens gets the victory over Dolph Ziggler. That was a waste of time match, basically. Yeah, yeah. Let's kill 15 minutes here and. Yeah. Dolph Ziggler ain't in the running for anything. I don't know why he would be. Oh, I've heard, I've heard he's on his way out. Same thing with uh, Wade Barrett. Well, then who's going to host Swerved? Or what is it? What's the WWE show that's the equivalent to a certain J.A. show you and I used to watch. Uh, well, Dolph Ziggler wasn't really the host of the show. He was more uh, of the... He was pretty much the host of the show. He just helped out a lot with it. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, you posted that to the thing. Uh, at Monday Night Raw, Jim Harbaugh is at Monday Night Raw. I didn't realize he was such a huge uh, wrestling fan. You know, they met, They mentioned him at uh, – JBL said something about him on uh, the pay-per-view last night. So, obviously, they knew they were coming to Detroit today. <laughs> uh, Detroit Lions apparently have shown their new alternate jersey, which – Frankly, it looks very similar to their old alternative jersey. It's black uh, with some blue in it, and their helmets. Lions. Are... And speaking of lions, they've been cleaning house. Uh, hey, desperate times calls for desperate, desperate measures, I guess. They have. They have, not only are they uh, not only are they not re-signing players, but they're also like um, just like. Management and office personnel and everything they've been wiping out. Oh, wow. Um, a double amputee wrestler caps undefeated season with a state title. Uh, Han Hansan Hawthorne was named Alabama's most valuable wrestler for class 6A. Wow, congratulations to yeah, him. That's pretty awesome. That is. I mean, I've seen guys wrestle who don't have any legs. There was some guy I saw one time, and he he didn't wear any prosthetics, but he wrestled with um, just his – he only had, like, his thighs, and he wrestled that way. There's a dude that Hogan brought in who was missing one leg, and I think it was in TNA he brought him in, too. And this dude could do – like, he had every wrestling move down. Like, the dude could bounce off ropes, and he had high-flying moves and everything. It was pretty amazing. And then they went silent. Yeah, it, it did. Oh, congratulations to the Godfather to join the WWE Hall of Fame. Yeah, that should be interesting. Because pimping ain't easy. 
<laughs> uh, officially, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura signs with the WWE NXT. He's the uh, um, hottest free agent in sports entertainment. Uh, I think he comes from uh, New Japan Wrestling. I'm uh, very interested to see him compete. I heard he's going to probably make his debut at the next uh, NXT TakeOver. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Still on the better uh, events, by the way. Yes, yes. If if you have the WWE Network, tune in every week on Wednesday uh, night to check out the NX, NXT. Cause yeah, it's, you really should. It's, it's, the, it's amazing the wrestling. This is an interesting story coming out of the uh, campus of Penn State. Said so, uh, there's there are two Penn State football fans who are recreating the uh, statues of Joe Paterno and uh, in secret locations. <laughs> so uh, people have been calling for uh, Joe Paterno's statue to be returned. So I'm wondering what these kids will end up doing. If they'll end up bringing it back on campus or what? I think it's time to put the statues back up of him. He was an amazing football coach. He made a mistake, yes. He admitted to it. He apologized. He, he admitted to it and apologized to it, didn't he? And the mistake wasn't really even his. It was oh. more... It was all his he, assistant coach. His assistant coach was the bad guy. One of the coaches with the other coaches was a bad person, plus... The fact that they kind of made him the scapegoat, more or less. I mean, he, I don't know, that's opening up like a whole new can of worms. But anyway, it's time, yeah. Joe Paterno was a big, 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 huge part of um, Penn State. He basically is Penn State's version of our Bo Schembechler, so. Yeah, it's time to put the statues back up and forgive him, and especially since he's passed away. But anyways, um, been working on the, um, the sheets. Haven't created them yet to get them to you yet, Tim. I'll get that going hopefully tonight. Um, That's fine. So, but um, yeah, it's going good so far. I'm glad we finally got the uh, bugs worked out of Bug Point O. Yeah, exactly. So I hope you guys are enjoying actually seeing me again. <laughs> Should we take a poll on that? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know it's not the prettiest face. But, all yeah, right. Is back on screen, though. I do like that. Get to see my shenanigans again. <laughs> <clears throat> so, but, all right. Well, that's all I got for you guys tonight. All right, guys. Well, have a great uh, rest of your week. We'll see you again pretty soon before you know it. Take care. I'm the coach. Be blessed, everyone. And I'm Jamie. And always and forever, go blue. Go blue.